everybody, welcome back to Caroline's Closet. It is time for another jewelry unboxing video. This is a Goodwill blue box, um, five pounds of DIY jewelry. I have two of them that I ordered two weeks ago. I did not get any last Friday, so I have none on the way. And of course they're sold out and ThreadUp is currently sold out of their uh, jewelry boxes. So I kind of was forced to buy a shoe box from ThreadUp. So I have 25 pairs of shoes coming from ThreadUp sometime. They haven't shipped yet, uh, but I had to get something on the way. So anyway, I'm going to get right into it. So I do not let myself open these things until I have met certain requirements for the day, whatever goal I set for myself. I have to get everything shipped that needs to be shipped and um, list so many items or take pictures of so many items or whatever. I have a different goal for every day. And I don't let myself open any boxes until that goal has been met. So that's why it takes me a while sometimes to get around to these things. So, let's see. Uh, try this. Alright, here we go. This has some crud stuck on it. Oh, my fingernails are awful. I'm sorry, guys. Not really sure what this is supposed to be. These are like foam. Just pieces of foam. Almost like it's supposed to be a bolo type tie thingy. These ends don't connect to each other, so. Like bungee cord. I don't know. Okay. Just some bangles. And this really warped, beat out of shape bangle. And this one. And let me grab my handy dandy magnet. Not magnetic. Not magnetic. This one I might believe to be something. Sterling or something. This one I don't think is. But I'll set them aside anyway. This is a fun bracelet. Just a cloth denim jean snap-on bracelet. Oops, got a name. Oh, Creation. I thought it had somebody's name on it. New Creation. That's cute. At the very end of the video, I will do a recap of the best items um, and anything that I plan to sell individually or what I think I will get for this stuff. So, this is just a tie at the end. It's got these floral, funky floral. Oh, that's just pinned on there. No markings though, but it's pretty neat. That's something that I'd probably put up at my booth for like two or three bucks. Um, it's a good way to get rid of jewelry. I am not a fan of garage sailing, but this is just a fun lanyard, but it's missing some pieces. A couple chunks here and there. Just a long lanyard. That's something I'll throw in my craft pile. Can make a good trim on some fun artsy project. Then we have this which appears to be bone. Some of it is dyed. It's really cool though. I don't know if it's like bone or white coral. I'm gonna have a focus issue today, aren't I? I will see if I can't figure that one out a little better. And that is pretty. Shiny, metallic. It's like a layer, 
clear layer of resin over the top. Um, no markings. But that's one I think I could sell individually. Eight or ten bucks. Oops. This is just a kid's uh, winner medallion. Another bangle. This is cool. The end is broken, but that's easily repairable. I thought maybe these were stones, but I think they're pretty lightweight. I think they're just plastic, but it's pretty. No markings on it either. Might end up going in my craft pile. I'm going to set aside all the earrings until the end. We have a locket locked in here. Let's see, can I get you? I got something. This is unmarked it's got a pretty heart dangly oh, I guess it's not dangly it's just stuck on itself right come on anyway I'll get it later, but just a pretty heart pendant on a short necklace, and it is definitely um, magnetic. This is a broken something. Does not appear to be anything special though and it's very lightweight like tin aluminum crafty block piece there's a giant hoop earring for you can't even fit it in the screen set that aside this is cool it's vintagey are made of. I think they might be plastic too. They're not very cold to the touch. That looks almost like it was stuck to something else and repurposed on this. I'm not sure though. But it's cool enough that I would probably list it individually. Now I say that and you have to understand I have so much stuff to list individually. Sometimes that influences me and some stuff ends up in lots that I wouldn't otherwise put in lots. It's just a little buckle bracelet, little cross pendant necklace on a ribbon. It's got pretty like Aurora Borealis, super pretty shiny crystals, but I think they're just pretend. They are sparkly. Okay, set that aside. This is a fun, graduated, giant, fake pearl bead necklace. No brandings on this one either, but I like the colors. The other problem with having to wait until all the work for the day is done before I can attack these things is that I'm always working on a tight timeline because then I have to get out of here. So this is another super short 
not long enough to be a necklace, too big to be a bracelet or an anklet. Somebody mentioned that they might be like prayer beads, something like this. I don't know anything about prayer beads, but I'll have to look into that. But it's definitely, there's no connector, and it's definitely way too short to be a necklace. So I will see if I can't figure out. I did a quick search on eBay for prayer beads, but I got a bunch of junk from China that was nothing like what I was wanting to see, so... Yay, 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 yay. Okay, save that for the end. This is Best, which I believe is Brighton. Best by Brighton. I could be wrong about that, but it's just a pretty pin. I'm 90% sure Best is Brighton. This is broken thing on the chain. And that'll just go in the craft pile. This is like a clip-on pendant type thing. I don't think that looks like it's supposed to be an earring, but that would be upside down. So That's really pretty. I could add that to a chain and um, send it as a pretty necklace or attach it to a purse or something. It's cute. Stretchy cloth. Oh, it's threads. Tiny little threads wrapped around the balls. Stretchy bracelet that'll go in a lot. My phone keeps popping up saying I'm missing calls right and left. Another stretch bracelet for a bracelet lot. Some tiny little uh, split rings like keychain rings, but a little smaller. can use those definitely for crafting. I don't mind getting stuff like that at all. And this is pretty. Not sure what that backing is. This will definitely go in the craft pile, but I might check and see if that outside is sterling. It's not magnetic. It's a possibility. I'll test it. And this is a pretty bracelet. Lots of sparkle there. Not seeing any missing lines. Oh, there's one. Giant one right there missing. Let's see if there's any branding. Nope. It's pretty, but I'll probably use it in the craft pile also. Tiny pair of earrings that say they're cubic zirconia, but I don't see anything cubic zirconia about them. So not on the right card. Plastic stretch bracelet. It's pretty though. A bunch of cute little striped seed beads. That'll definitely go. Striped glass geek crafts. That'll go in the craft lot. These are a bunch of earrings. I'm going to set them aside and do all the earrings last. Vintage 
faux pearls and metal bead. It's pretty long. I guess maybe like 24 inches, not too long. That, I don't know. See, if I didn't have much to list, I'd definitely list it, but where I'm sitting now, it'll probably go in a lot. Um, okay, this piece is broken. It's got some strings hanging out of it, and it's missing the clasp on the end. And I think it's just plastic, so it'll go craft a lot. This is a pretty choker, but it's missing. Oh no, it's not missing stones. Thought it was missing stones, but those four are just a raised bump. But no branding on it either. I might do a choker lot. I think I've got a couple others waiting to be photographed and just some more cheapy bracelets. Haven't found anything other than that vest, which may or may not be Brayton. Haven't found anything branded yet in here. This is fun. It's got, I think that's a $5 taped on price tag on it. But no other markings. Come on, give me some branded stuff. Just cheap bangles. More cheap bangles. More cheap bangles. Kids stretch bracelet. More cheap bangles. More cheap bangles. More cheap bangles. One individual earring. Bracelets. Yaakov Ben Shabbat. Killed by terrorists. 9903. Age 39. Oh. Somebody made it in remembrance of a family member and then donated it to Goodwill. That's sad. It's not 9-11 though, is it? Was it 02? It's close. Hmm. Okay, so here's another choker. Just fabric flower choker. Little kitty cat stretchy bracelet. Wooden bead stretchy bracelet. Another one of these. That's a fun pin. I like that. Oh, it's got a got an earring stuck on it. I was wondering what was jingling on it. I like that one a lot. No markings. But I would probably sell that individually. Another missed call. Sheesh, guys. Pretty popular with all these robocalls today. Some more cheapy bangles. There's a cool ring. Looks like amber, but I'm going to highly guess that it's not. I have yet to find any genuine amber. I will be super excited if and when I ever do. Okay, finally got this bangle out of there. This is a way stretched out bracelet with a lot of bling. 
but it'll go in the craft table. Here is another one of these. Set that aside. This, I believe, is the piece that broke off of the other piece. Set that in the craft pile. My last lot, I ended up with very few craft pile pieces, so this one might be making up for it. This is Anna, Disney, little charm bracelet. Those I tend to take to the booth and put a quarter on. People bring their kids to the booth shopping with them. I like to have some cheap stuff that they can beg their parents for. And parents are probably much more likely to let them get a quarter or 50 cent item. This is actually really nice. Well made. That's just clipped on there. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. Oh well, it, it looks good on there. Those are nice like glass beads, not cheap plastic ones. Some more glass fire polish beads. Nylon ribbon bangle. Just pieces of something. circle pendant on a leather cord. No markings. There's got to be at least one more branded thing in here. Give me something to work with. Another cheapy bangle. Earrings. Little handmade. Probably repurposed also. Bracelet. Just a fun little plastic flower necklace. No markings on that one. Fun snaky type gold chain necklace. I thought it was, yeah, it's broken on the end. Oh, yeah, it is. No markings on that. I keep looking to make sure I'm still recording because the last one I did, I stopped recording on me like three different times. And I didn't realize it and just kept talking. Got a lot of random little pieces of pieces of things. And yes, yeah, sometimes these boxes can be disappointing, but I don't complain about them because um, they are, you get what you're paying for. I'm paying for craft. Ooh, that's pretty. Mother of Pearl pendant. I like that. I might put that on a necklace and sell it and not craft it. This is Follow Your Heart and a Butterfly and a Cherub. Be Good. Pretty Heart. Laugh Often. A Leaf. Follow Your Heart. No branding on it, but I do like it. I have no idea. These must have either been a thing or Goodwill just had a whole bunch of them and decided to put a couple in every every lot. These rubber silicone type bracelets. I've gotten a lot of them. Some more cheap bangles, but I like the purple rhinestones on there. I see Frankenstein. Try to 
pull out anything that will come out easily. Another bangle. Another bangle. Now I will before I do my end of the, um, my wrap up at the end, I will double check and make sure none of those bangles are like sterling or anything. So I'm not just going to toss them to the side without looking at them. But I really like that horse head and a horseshoe little pin. It's not very, well, if you watched my last video, I mentioned how I got this from my silver testing acid and it is still there. I promise guys, I bathe and wash my hands a lot and this is now going on 10 or 11 days. Can't get that off. But I like that horse pin. It's unmarked, but somebody will want him. Bent out of shape, bangle, another bangle. Stretchy. This is a fun broken off piece of something, but I like it. This is pretty. Vintage necklace. It's got these pretty aqua colored. I'm guessing they have to be a gemstone of some nature, but I don't know what. And they are not completely perfect circles either. I will have to see if I can't figure out what type of semi-precious gemstone those might be. Or they could be glass. They're definitely not plastic. But that's a really pretty long necklace. Worth my attention. for just a second. Okay, we have this heart on a chain. No markings on this one. Trying to detangle behind the scenes for a second. There. I'm gonna see set this pile aside and I will detangle off camera and then come back but first finish the stuff I can get to fun little handmade stuff um, Side also. Another cheap bangle. Earring. Uh, what used to be, I'm assuming, a stretch bracelet, but it's broken. Craft pile. More bling. Oh, this one might be marked. No thought there was a marking, but it's just a decorative end to it. No marking there either. Thought I might get lucky, but missing a, a rhinestone there. No markings. Pretty though. Kids, oh, best cousin, wow. I'll have to save that for my daughter to send to one of her cousins. I know who it'll go to. Kids necklace. Wooden bead bracelet. Another one of these. Now it's starting to feel like plastic. I didn't think it was plastic when I first pulled one out. But cheerleader bracelet. Empty 
empty bead. Empty. Loose bead. Oh, that's pretty. Hope there's a match for that one in there. Just a chain bracelet. Some pretty pearls. No markings. Would definitely say vintage, though. I do not rub anything from these boxes against my teeth without cleaning it first, so I'm not going to do that now, but I will do the teeth test and see if those are real. This is a mass of tangles, so I'm going to set that aside for a second. Pretty pen. No markings. Shiny rose gold colored metallic choker. No branding on that. And it's got like some nicks and stuff in the. Can't really see it from the shine, but it's not really in the best condition, so it'll go in the craft pile. That's a cool looking bracelet. Little carved roses all around it. I like that one. Earring. I just poked myself on whatever is tangled in here. Owie. It's a very pretty pin though. I can see it. It stabbed me, guys. This is a hazardous job. Alright, that's going to go in my untangle off camera. This is a fun bead necklace, but it's got frayed strings coming out of it, so I'm not sure where the break is, or, or maybe those are from something else that got stuck in it. That might be the case. Yeah. I don't think those had anything to do with this. Oops, and a feather stuck to the end. I like that. This doesn't belong. Oh, yes it does. Huh. This does belong, but it looks like something else was attached to it, maybe? I like that one a lot. <laughs> there is not much left in this box, guys, and I haven't gotten anything yet to be super excited about, so... That's pretty. Just a loose piece. Could make into a pin or a barrette or use as a centerpiece in one of my projects. A couple loose pieces. Oops. Oh, I like that one. Well, this one's box is going to make up for my lack of craft items before. That looks like a good hunk of jade, though. I'll bet this is sterling. Set that aside. I'm not seeing too many matches for the earrings I've pulled out either. Oh, those are cool. Cat eye stones. Oh, missing one. Aww. Fooey. It's pretty though. broken. Alright, so this is what's left, guys. There's a cool enamel ring and place. A 
broken piece of a watch or something. Just seeing if there's anything worth showing. There's a broken ring. Probably had something glued to the top there. An ice ring. Another ring of some nature. Um, bracelet. That might be sterling. I don't know. Okay, so that's all that's left in here is just some loose pieces beads and uh, earrings so I'm going to pull these out and another one of these uh, pull these out and see if I ended up with any pairs of earrings. I see a feather to match one that I have out already and detangle the necklaces and be back. Alright, it is now the next day. <clears throat> it took me a little longer than I thought to untangle this mess. But everything you see here was all mixed in the tangles. And it's more junk. So there's this handmade little necklace, uh, this gold tone uh, broken necklace. It's got breaks, two breaks in it. There's this double layer. This one's not broken, it's kind of pretty, but it's got this giant, oh, I guess it is, it's missing. Missing a rhinestone. Giant cylinder and then the cross on the other layer. This uh, empty silver tone chain. This half of a best friend's necklace. And look, it's from Claire's, so I can't say I didn't get any more branded pieces. This bunch of beads, broken necklace. Uh, this one is not broken. It's kind of nice. Um, this is just a locket. And it's functional. But nothing too special about it. This pretty, pretty, pretty flower brooch, but it is missing it's a couple oh wait, that one's just bent back where's the missing one? the top it's missing a couple rhinestones this was what every single tiny little chain was stuck in, in and around each petal they were wrapped up in there pretty tight this pretty butterfly necklace this is marked 120, um, 18K, I think, or 14K, 120 something, which I believe the 120 means gold filled. So, let's see if I can zoom in, maybe. Oh, and of course I have it upside down. Oh, no, I don't. 120, oh, 12K on this one. So I think it's 12K um, gold filled. But that's all right. And then we had this broken chain, this broken ring. Would have been kind of cool if it wasn't broken has the wings on the side. Um, this is complete and it has this tag on it. So if you know this maker, let me know because I haven't seen that one before. Uh, then we have this pretty bracelet. This pretty anklet. This pretty brooch. I do like this one, except it's missing a leaf also. Um, this is another half of a best friend's necklace. A lot of broken up friends out there. Or just grown up friends. 
This is still a tangled mess, but it's broken, so I wasn't too interested in untangling all the chains in there. Uh, this is just a bottle cap necklace. Another uh, broken chain. And then we have, what's this one? Oh, this one I kind of liked. This one was, I think it's genuine pearls and rose quartz, maybe? necklace. I can untangle it. So that one I kind of liked. Set it off to the side. And then we have shark tooth heart and a Frankenstein on black nylon cords. So that is everything that was in my tangled up mess. And then um, do a quick recap. I'm not going to do complete because there's just not a whole lot of good stuff in here. But first let me do the earrings. So there was this feather pair, this clip-on vintage pair, this giant hoops, and then in that little, oh, and this pair, I like these, and then in that little baggie of earrings, there was this pair, which I really like, and this pair, the snowflakes, and this pair, which is sterling silver, and then... What else? What else? What else? Um, okay, so then this is the best brooch. My only true branded item. I did look up. I can't find anything to support that that's Brighton. So I think best is its own thing. Could be wrong, but this earring is sterling silver. So it's going to go in my little glass jar of random sterling silver pieces that once I get enough of them, I will sell a big lot. And then these did test as sterling silver also. It seems so much like plastic though. I don't know why they would put plastic in sterling. And I don't, the backing's kind of cool, but I don't know. But these are sterling. I'm gonna try to sell the lot of three of them for maybe 15, 20 bucks as they are. They have holes in the sides to string two strings through, add them to something. So they're pretty. And then this tested as 10 or 12 karat gold. So I'm going to add it to my gold lot. And this is nephrite jade. And I'm just going to, and this is sterling silver, so I'm just going to try to sell this pendant as it is on its own for maybe 20 bucks, hopefully. We'll see. I'll do a little more research to see what I can get for it, but I think 20 seems reasonable. Um, so there's that. So these pieces here, buy the box and more. Buy the box and the next box. So that's okay, I can't say that I'm losing any money. Um, as far as what I'm going to list individually, a Aside from those things, there's not a whole lot. I will sell these sterling earrings individually. I will probably sell these earrings individually. And then I'm going to sell this necklace and this super long necklace individually. And a horse pendant. I think that was all I kind of picked out that I was really interested in selling on its own. The rest will go in lots. I'm going to make more than enough money to make it worth my while, but it was not the best box by any means. So hopefully this other box I have sitting behind me waiting to be opened will be much better. So next video will hopefully be that unboxing. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, if you know anything about any of these pieces that I don't know, please be sure to comment and let me know what you think and come back for more. Bye guys!